like I said, I am in Ghana and I have more Ghana content coming through for you guys. Today I am going to a few places. When we get there, you know more about where I'm going to. I don't want to spoil the show. So we're currently on our way there. As usual in Ghana, it's always hot. So it's hot right now. And my makeup is just, it's just really light. I'm actually not supposed to do any makeup, but I did anyways. So yeah, we're on our way going to Accra right now so when we get there I'm taking you guys to two locations today so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button like this video as I see you over there Okay, so we are going to stop at the mall for a very short while and then just to pick up a few things but this is not our actual location we just want to do a few shopping and then we are here to do a few shopping and then I'll take you to our crime. Mm. So this is Western's Mall. So, so today we are at this memorial park. Now for those of you that don't know, Kwame is the first president and first prime minister of Ghana. Military people collected power from him and then he was sent to Guinea to go and die over there. <laughs> but after ruling, when he got to Guinea, he also became the vice president there. So after ruling for some time, he died there. But then the people of Ghana requested for his body to go back here to Ghana for them to bury him here because he's an important person so they wanted to have his, his, um, his grave here in Ghana for people to acknowledge that there was someone like this in Ghana so yeah when they brought his body back he was buried right here in this place so this is what we are here to see we are here to know what the park is about and what the park has to offer and we are still going to look around and I will show you more about what this place has to offer Since the place doesn't really have much to um, film or to talk about other than the car where the car he drove and then the place where he was buried I think that's pretty much what it has to offer it's kind of funny that there was no tour guide to take us around the place to tell us more about the park and all that but um, yeah so this is a place where if you come here you want to relax you want to have a meal maybe you've got your own food you can come here to have your meal have a relaxation the the trees here can block you from the sun so you don't get to feel how hot it is out there so while i'm done showing you here let's continue with the tour and i show you guys more around this place So you saw us. This wife didn't come there to call you. 
the wife when didn't come there to call you. It's the same way you saw us. You are also going. When I saw you, you came. I was. You guys were here doing talking almost well, almost through. Um. The okay. Okay, so over here we have the third and final burial place of Dr. Kamapo. So after he was at his hometown for 20 years, the body was going back, as I said, so they had to bury him. So he was brought from to this park in 92. So in there you would have his bones and other remains of him. So this is where he was finally buried. In a wooden casket, not the metallic casket. Hmm. After the coup d'etat, I was paid against Dr. Kramer in 1966. They separated. Dr. Kramer went to Guinea Conakry. Then she also went to Egypt with the three kids. Okay. So Gamel was still going somewhere. On her sick bed in 2007, she made a wish that when she dies, she should be buried close Who's to the house. So when she died, she was brought from Egypt and was buried here. So that's her first and last burial place. We have the mausoleum. It was designed by a Ghanaian called Don Arthur. It was built by the Chinese with Italian rocks. So what you're seeing is not tiles, they are rocks. Oh, wow. Yeah, with marbles in between. It was built in the form of a big tree that has been cut short. So when you watch it carefully, it's like a tree. Oh, that has been cut, cut short. short. Uh -huh. yeah. It stands for the unfinished business of Rosa Kwame Kuma. Kuma. Up there, there is a black star. The black star stands for the African community. Um, in the olden days, when our forefathers go to farm and they are tired, they rest under the big trees. So in the way, I send Rosa Kwame Kuma with the wife are resting under the big trees. Normally there's water around it. You know what that is like? Yes. Which means we have good number of water from We still remember him. Oh, so what happened to the water? The water was drained out. Okay. This was the actual ground Dr. Kamupa was standing when he declared Ghana independence. Nice. He was standing here on a podium just like the metallic stages in the head. So this was the actual ground? So this was where he was standing. Wow. On something like this. To declare Ghana Okay, okay. okay. So this park at first it was called the old polo grounds. The British used to play polo here. Blacks were not allowed to come to this park. So <laughs> <laughs> the declaration of independence to this park so that blacks can come play, to the park. Yeah, yeah. So the statue up there is made of concrete, not bronze like the other one. What he's doing is forward ever backwards. Never. never. And he's pointing over to the front. Over here we have <laughs> people who really live who blow horns. So oh. this horn is here to say said of the Kamikuma is a traditional man. Because traditionally in Ghana we blow this horn to announce a program. So we need mm. a festival um, or anything going on you announce it. So I think it happens in Africa. Yes, this is what they use to announce it. So um, now this also there is water coming out of the horns, like a fountain. Um, as I was saying, the horns, uh, water come out of the horns like a fountain. So um, they are there to say that we've not forgotten our traditions also, we still live our traditions. So when you come to the statue, there is seven on your left, seven on your right. Seven stands for perfection. At your far left, there is a statue of a man drumming over there you can see. Yes. Dr. Kamikuma was born when he declared independence, if you could remember. Mm, uh, playing yes. Playing the guitar, a traditional yes. guitar. Yes, the river stands for the northern part of the country. So, um, basically the Ghanaian unity. So, the seven people on your left stands for the perfection of the south. The perfection of the north. So, basically the Ghanaian perfection. Some of the trees are trees that are significant in some countries. Yeah. Maybe um, in Nigeria there is a tree that grows only in Nigeria. Yeah. Yes. So um, we please for the seed or how to plant. But this is the one planted by Nelson Mandela. This is Mamuchi. 
Mandela for the South Africans. <laughs> so over here we have the presidential vehicle. Okay. This car from 19, um, 1960 when he was president. Straight to 1966 until he was over Cadillac from America. I went to Romania for it to be fully bulletproof. Hmm. So this car is fully bulletproof. Yes. Crazy. It's a bulletproof car. It was some chilling guy. Seriously. You guys should take a good look at it. Nice. Okay. Okay, so um, we came to the art exhibition, which is not far from the well, it's actually part of the Roma Memorial. So we are here to check out what they sell and what they have to offer. So I'm also going to show you guys around this place before we head back. So yeah, let's go. I have food coming, I have pictures. Mm. Yeah. Can show them one by one. So we have the bags. Yes. yes. You said you have bags. Yeah. Bags. Yeah. Where are the bags? Yeah, that is here. The whole okay. thing is here. I want you to look carefully. Yeah, see the bag. Uh, what is it called? Is it? What is the tag called? It has a name. Yeah. No. And this mask. That's a shanty mask. I think that's that mask. It has a name. You see the paintings? You see the pictures? You know, you know, you know these things. In Bini, yes. Um, this one is too big for you. There's a name they call it. I'll try to remember the name Sir, the cultures are very similar. Show them the pictures too. It has amazing pictures. So a shop is just when you come inside, straight down. You get to a shop. That's Art Center Market, yeah, market Insight. Yeah, Art Center Market Insight. So you come in straight inside well, and you get to a shop. You can see the beautiful art that he has here. What is this book called? Eugene Ami. Eugene Ami. Eugene Ami. It's called I, a Paba. Paba. It's yeah, welcome. That's yeah. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. That's a uh, war hunger. You see the greeting from Ghana. This bag is so nice, like the design, yeah. Very fine. May I ask so I'll ask for the price and see if I can buy anyone. So how much is this design? The smaller one. Yes. There is a skirt that I have. The African, African yes. Uh, is there one like with Ankara? This, this one is hundred cities. Hey. I thought it's <laughs> no, no, every, every bag and it's price. This one is showing this one is very hard. Hundred to this. Ah, but it's so nice. Chai. Ah, it's fine, no, but the price is too yeah, much. You can put it on your shoulder. But how much is that? Will you bring the price down? Yeah, I said this one is hundred cities. That's the last price. You see? That's the last price for it. How much will you give? Twenty cities. Ah, this one be paused now. Yeah, that one be twenty. Okay. Um. Let's be on our way going. 